yeah friend this yeah this is uh, our like first maybe of its kind of interview i'm gonna talk to my friend daryl is one of my really very nice friends here we both work for ular prosperity nebraska and we're making a like, kind of a meeting of friends so it's not a kind of a formal meeting rather i'm gonna talk to him about ethiopia about africa about life in general and you guys try to get his message so this is a test like how good you get his english and also get his point of view like so my friend you're welcome and the floor is yours thank you for having me tell you so long that's it all right Netna. Yeah, for my Somali people, it's a Bakhwan accent. Or, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have yeah, to say yeah. Yeah. I have friends, students from Somali who come and study there. Oh, nice. So I'm going to send it to the so police, say, tell them or something. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, but um, thanks for having me. This is going to be fun. I, nice. I love just talking to Fikadu. It's, it's, it's the best thing ever, so. Oh. Thanks so much. Yeah, yeah. So I can also eat like this nuts, like... This is my, from my backpack. When I go to school, I have this thing with me. So we like, like Ethiopian coffee time. Oh, you live with Ethiopian cashews? Coffee. Yeah, cashews. Okay. That's not so. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's can, pretty can good. discuss as we eat. So. Mm. Yeah, I just noticed that in Somalia, I just said good morning. I meant it's got what in, which is just like, a, <laughs> how, are, how are you doing? Can I say again? It's got what in. It's got. It's got what in. It's got what in. Yeah, it's like I-S-K-A. Oh, so what is Scott, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, um, working with Fakadu is just the best. Uh, <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I love, I just love being around him. Good person. Uh, <laughs> always, always willing to like help out, make jokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. He's always bringing cashews, <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking about chili, like, <laughs> talking about how good uh, Ethiopian is. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I feel like I, I feel like I'm half Ethiopian now because I've <laughs> talked to Fakado about something. I'm things. teaching him Amharic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So send them some Amharic words. Oh, I just say I just say Tadi Salam. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I know I know how to say thank you, but I always mess it up. Thank you, Zamasaknello. I'm a Zamasaknello. I'm a Zamasaknello. Yeah, let's say again. Good. One more time. Yeah, it's like I'm a set. I'm a set. Ginarlo. Ginarlo. I'm a set Ginarlo. I'm a set. I'm a set Ginarlo. I'm a set Ginarlo. I feel like I'm getting the call. <laughs> yeah, you're here. I feel like you're changing. Yeah, you're coming. Are you changing I'm every time? I'm a set Ginarlo. I'm a set Ginarlo. I'm a set. I'm a set Ginarlo. Ginarlo. Yes. Repeat it. I'm a set Ginarlo. I'm a set Ginarlo. Yes. Okay. I'm a set Ginarlo. I'm a set Ginarlo. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That's how. Yeah. That's like a firecracker, so, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm Arinya Engri, I'm, I'm a second artist, like, really good I'm now. Second. I'm a second artist. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. but no, um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I love, I love being here. So they, did you, they, tell, they know where you're at, they know where you're... Um, so they know I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska, uh-huh. but most of them, they have no idea about the states in the U.S. Mm. So, they think, no, yeah. Nebraska is like, look, if you come, if you come here, <laughs> Nebraska is one of those states that people are not gonna even know about, really. Like, <laughs> it's just a random state. A lot of people know about like New York, yeah, um, Chicago, uh, maybe like Seattle, Texas, yeah, California, places, California, California these, places yeah. like that. But Nebraska is like not like that at all. Mm-hmm. Like, you 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 will miss it really. Mm-hmm. Um, and most people don't visit here, but there is actually a lot of diversity here. So it's like my hometown. My hometown, Cerro. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think like Cerro is in Latin America or. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't know it. So. Yeah, I mean Nebraska is not as small as Cerro. <laughs> it's not. It's not a small place, but it's like a place that just people don't know about a ton. Mm-hmm. Even people that are from here, yeah. don't know about it a ton. And it's funny how like the world is, right? So with Nebraska, like Lincoln is considered like the the big city for like people that are rural here. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. if you have like rural parts of Nebraska, like people from like Scotts Bluff and yeah. like Alliance, mm-hmm. they think Lincoln is the big city, right? Mm-hmm. But for people like myself, who's from Chicago, yeah. we see Lincoln. <laughs> we see Lincoln is very small. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just it's perspective. It really is perspective. Yeah, I've been to Chicago. I know you've Chicago, been. To, oh, it's really Chicago. big. I'm telling you, it's oh chaotic. God. It's super chaotic. So yeah, yeah. Um, I've been to the Sky mm-hmm. Sky Deck. The Sky, yeah, yeah, downtown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. Did you get on a little platform that you can see over the city? Uh, yeah, I, I went to the, yeah. like a tower. Yeah, you went up to the tower. It was like a cloudy day, uh-huh. so 
We didn't see the city, but there is a picture. We took a picture of us uh, as if we are like. Oh, nice. You got to show me that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, okay. Yeah, but Lincoln is actually nice. Like, they have like a couple, a few Ethiopian. No, they have one Ethiopian restaurant, right? Yeah, two. Two. Two, two. two. two Ethiopian restaurant? They have two of them? One. One. I mean, the name is Teru. 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 I can't, I can't even. Teru. Teru. So you just say it's like. Tota is a small monkey. <laughs> Can you say Tota? Wait a minute, why did they name it that? Why did they name it after a small monkey? It's like, no, there are different monkeys, like the smallest one. Yeah, why did they name it that? Let me show you. It's, it's like, I don't know, I think it has another name. Mm -hmm. But I'm just asking you like to try this Ta in Ethiopian. Ta. 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 I can't even. I ta can't and even. Ta, these are different. Ta. Ta. It's like Tota. It's a very common. Uh, word we can make out of uh, ta. Okay, I if when we learn like the uh, different Ethiopian alphabet, so uh, like the way you build A for apple and B for book and C for cat and D for dog, right? Uh huh. So we say ta for tota. <laughs> I, I have a hard time with like it's just like sometimes different like sound like if you say madhaban or something mm, like that yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's hard for the h for yeah, me yeah exactly it's like, it's like, yeah, yeah. i know the natives they make a very mm -hmm. same as in denmark when they say copenhagen 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 they say kumhaun kumhaun but oh. i say copenhagen oh it's very far away you know, it's funny because here we say Fikadu, yeah. but in Denmark we say Fikadu. 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 So in Denmark, my name is not Fikadu. It's Fikadu. <laughs> here it's uh, I don't know. Right? Yeah, here it's you just know, so we be making up stuff. Like yeah. here, <laughs> I, somebody called you Steve one time. <laughs> they were like, they were like, you talk to Steve? I'm like, who the hell is Steve? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, they didn't even get the first letter right. It's an yeah. F there. They just called you Steve. Yeah, somebody they give me all the different names. Like, I mean, Fukado is not a difficult Ethiopian name. No, Fukado is not a difficult name. Not difficult. Yeah, no. I have a lot of difficult names like Gabra Xavier. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Haile, Haile Gabra Selassie, like the Ethiopian athlete. Yeah, yeah. His name is Haile Gabra Selassie. Second name is Gabra Selassie. <laughs> I gotta say, Gabra Selassie. Okay. I'm not gonna I say, Haile. 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 Haile, yes. Haile. Gabra. Gabla. Gabra. Gabla. Selassie. Selassie. Yeah. Oh. Haile Gabra. Haile Gabra Selassie. Selassie. I'm just making stuff up. I'm just saying random words now. That is a fun part of like, like listening when someone speaking in your language. It's uh -huh. like, it's very, I mean. I, I, I understand my English is like to you. Like that is really Amharic. good. It's really like good. you trying to speak in Amharic? <laughs> One day I'm going to get it. But yeah. we have our meeting yeah. on the 29th. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you and uh, Martha can speak in. Uh, sure, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I've seen. Mm -hmm. So, like, what, what do you uh, would like to tell to the young people in Africa? Maybe um, this is the first time. You are talking to an African platform, right? Mm -hmm. If you had the chance to talk to... Well, my adoptive parents are from Liberia. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. so like, now I talk to a lot of you from like... Uh, Do they interview you or is there a chance when yeah. you record like... Because this is like on camera, we're going to share this with the young people. They're going to try to listen this message. Mm -hmm. um, the, my major aim is if they could get something out of this. Okay, if they can get something... This, they could evaluate their level of understanding, mm -hmm. someone speaking in English, and you really present the typical American English mm. speaker, so like, <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> so tell them like a given message. A message? Yeah. Okay. Whatever it is, something that you think is like important for them to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily about English. Whatever, but, whatever but you life. like. It's just, the thing is like us, for them to listen and try to grasp. Mm -hmm. So I would say my favorite lesson is good and bad times mm. always will pass mm -hmm. like so no matter if you're having a good time in life mm -hmm. there's going to be a bad time mm -hmm. right and if there's a bad time in life it's going to get better it's, it's just it's just a natural flow yeah. of life yeah. you know so don't get hung up on the good times and thinking mm -hmm. you're better than people or mm -hmm. that everything in life is perfect because yeah. there will be some bad times mm -hmm. but if there's bad times they're not going to last forever mm -hmm. 
it's it's one of those it's just one of those quotes it's just it's just the way life works mm -hmm. you know so if if you're going through like a bad time hold like hold on it's going to get better mm -hmm. just you know try to take as much understanding you can from that bad time mm -hmm. so it, let's say for instance that you you can't find an employment right now right mm -hmm. if you keep working hard and you try to gain as much experience as you can uh, eventually that appointment was gonna, is going to happen, mm -hmm. and you're going to be doing good in life. But don't take it for granted when you start doing good as well, mm -hmm. because something might happen there. Mm -hmm. So life is all about flow. It's mm -hmm. going gonna, it's, it's gonna to get good, and then it's going to get bad. Yeah, it's just it's just part of it. So that's that's I think it's very important because a lot of the young people that follow my channel, mm -hmm. they are unemployed. Yeah. So use an education support service Ethiopia. This is Ethiopia is like a mission that helps support them. Mm. Psychologically shows them the ways. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we say, one might say, I don't have a job. Mm. That doesn't mean you cannot do something. Right. Maybe you don't get paid for it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you go to the hospital, and if you go to the church, or if you go to the roadside, and right. if you go to really different mm -hmm. centers where poor people are like, asking for help. Right. There's always opportunity, especially yeah. when it's like bad times. There's mm -hmm. always opportunity to do something, to learn something, you exactly. know? Like, even in the role I am, I have my job I want to do, right? I want to yeah. do well here. But there also is time for growth and gaining skill mm -hmm. during off time, right? Mm -hmm. I can learn another language, right? Mm -hmm. Learning another language is so important. Yeah. Like, it's so useful. Yeah. Like, let's say you don't have employment right now, right? There's so many other platforms like Fiber, um, Duo. It, it's a lot of, pla uh, you can even do it on YouTube mm -hmm. where you can teach somebody another langu language, right? Let's say you know English, right? But you also know, mm -hmm. how do you say, Arabic? Um, Amharic? Amharic. Amharic. And Hadik. Yeah. yeah. We like, have 70 something languages, may I say. Yeah, I think it's 80 actually. Now. Yeah, about 80. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I looked at my so stuff on Ethiopia. Yeah. yeah, I have a lot of mountains too. By the way, this guy really, like, <laughs> he's practicing Amharic. Yeah. And really, like, naturally, like, a curious person to learn languages. I, I love it. Yeah. yeah. the right person. You know, Ethiopia is like the oldest country, like the yeah. oldest country in Africa. Yeah. Yeah, and you, all, oldest, yeah. Yeah, and you all won the first um, Olympic gold medal as well mm -hmm. for Africa. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, really cool. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But let's say you have that skill where you know English and you know another language, right? A lot of um, a lot of businesses is in English. So what you can do is you can go on YouTube, start a channel, teach that language, find out what your niche is, mm -hmm. which is, your niche is like your. Um, what makes you unique? Mm -hmm. What makes you uh, stand out from other people? Mm -hmm. um, you find out that niche, you can put it on YouTube, and you get views that way. You can get income. Mm -hmm. You know, you make money from YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're really good at building stuff. You, you can put that online. Yeah. And people, it's a, um, it's a videos that a lot of people know about mm -hmm. where these individuals are in like a forest. Mm -hmm. And they, they have like, they never talk in their videos, but what they do is they they dig up mm -hmm. these areas and they make they make, they make pools. Yeah, yeah, they make houses. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Really yeah, 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 that's funny. Oh my goodness. Yep, that that that's type of skill. Wild. Yeah, wow. that type of skill there is really good. So don't think because nobody's offering you employment, you can't go make it for yourself. Because mm -hmm. you really can. You know, my wife, my wife actually makes um, she she plays video games mm -hmm. and they pay her. Wow. Yeah, random people will send her money to pay her for video just for playing video games. Nice. You it's it's <laughs> ways out there to make money. You just yeah. have to do it. Um, the, the guy that made this, um, he's a student here. Uh, is Big Gumdrop Outdoors. Mm -hmm. he, he he's a student here. He's a phenomenal student. But he does this as a, um, as um, his job he wants to do after school. Wow. So he's he's doing like things like marketing. Mm -hmm. um, he's selling merch. And he's making money that way. It's, mm -hmm. it's so many ways that you can make you can uh, make money out there. So just because somebody's not offering you employment doesn't mean that you can't um, mm -hmm. make money or make a living. So wow. Thanks so much. Man, I tried. Really happy. I tried. Tell, us about, tell us about Chicago now. Chicago? Let's bring them to Chicago. Look, like. if you're driving to <laughs> Chicago, listen. First off, there's a bunch of Ethiopian restaurants there. And a, bunch of Li yeah, yeah. a bunch of Liberian restaurants there. Yeah. I love it. But if you come to Chicago, just be willing to know that when you're driving there, it will be chaotic. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very fast paced. Very, like, yeah. it's wow. extremely fast paced. Yeah, the highways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All the highways. It's like maybe like four lanes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it, four, four, yeah, it's yeah, four, oh four goodness. on the side, and it's just poof. And it, these cars are going like <laughs> ninety miles per hour here, oh so goodness. like they're go, people are going fast. So just understand, Chicago. There is, is no way I can drive there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be eight on Yeah, yeah. Do you drive? 
I drive, but I was really have like only the beginning. Uh huh. Only to get my license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't really kind of like. For Kyle, you gotta go out there. Yeah. We, we got, <laughs> oh I'm gonna take goodness. you. If we go to Chicago, I'm gonna take you on the highway. <laughs> we just gonna be gone. <laughs> yes. I'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> How is the traffic accident here? Lincoln traffic is so bad. Yeah. People drive so slow here. Yeah, yeah. But but I was talking. I had a meeting this morning, and the students talking about how fast people drive here. Mm -hmm. No, people drive so slow here. Like like I'm always like I think it's the I'm from, since I'm from Chicago. You pass around. Yeah, I have to go around because wow. I cannot drive that slow. So yeah, even I don't do the speed limit ever. Like the speed limit is too slow. Yeah. So like I, I go. But do they have like higher limits there? Chicago? They no, it's the same. I just, I just, I just try to go with the flow of traffic. Yeah, that was so like. I love it. I've been to Chicago. Like I see, it's the Demara. Uh -huh. There's a restaurant, Ethiopia restaurant oh. called Demara. Was it pretty good? It was good. Yeah. But that if the injera is not really, I mean, oh. it's a very nice one, but I know, for me, for an Ethiopian, because uh -huh. I have the original test, you know? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. other says, oh, this is yeah. very nice so, one yeah, yeah. for the other. Yeah, so you didn't yeah. have the original taste? I mean, even, like, whatever you make out of country, yeah, yeah. in a different culture, yeah, yeah. you don't get the original, you know, uh, ingredients. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's the reason why. I remember I also went to the Chicago Aquarium. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, so it was no they when they when they had they had the door wide, right? Door wide? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Tell me, like which food do you like? I like the door wide. Door so, wide? Yeah, yeah. And Jera is uh, <laughs> it, it, like it's, it's good, it's good. But I like to eat my door wide with just the like yeah, yeah, the I just was like hey, I, I'm just no injera, no bread. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saucy. You hand. just eat the, yeah. the word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no injera, no dabo. No nothing, nothing. Yeah, I just hand. Yeah, mm. I was just myself <laughs> in the face. <laughs> But yeah, no. Um, for the you most... know, me and Daryl were together in the Rular Prosperity Nebraska, so we are also sending young people out to the Rular uh, here to get experience. So mm. sometimes our students don't understand what internship is. Yeah. Or maybe you might tell them also the value of internship. <clears throat> oh, it's super important. It's super important, especially get an internship in something that you really want like either you want to get a skill in mm -hmm. right or you want to actually do in the future right because you build a network mm -hmm. so let's say for instance you want to be an interior design mm -hmm. um we just actually talked to a student that just got us this room mm -hmm. as an interior yeah. design and that individual um, is really important for them to work at a place that does interior design you mm -hmm. know for internship because mm -hmm. that way she gets to know people in the industry yeah she gets to uh make a little money because they they pay a mm -hmm. lot of internships are paid now um and she gets to put that on a resume, mm -hmm. you know? So, and not only that, that place might like her work so much, they offer her a job, yeah. you know? So, it's really important. It's really, really important. So, as a student, really take advantage of internships, you mm -hmm. know? Either to grow yourself or grow your resume, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's, it's really it's really important because for myself, I did, in, in undergrad, I did an internship at my job. It was the worst decision ever because I don't want to get, like, <laughs> my, like so my job at the time was mentoring, like, youth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, basically teaching youth about, like, being good people, right? Mm -hmm. and, you know, and I was like, I'm just going to do my internship there. Horrible. Because yeah. all I did was work at my same job and I hated it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I really didn't like it. I could have used that time to do other stuff. So, and I'm not trying to say it's been a regret of mine, but I can say that since I didn't work in something that I wanted to work in, like uh, I wasted a little time, so uh -huh. yeah, it's mm -hmm. important when you're young. Don't waste, don't waste too much time. Have fun, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Re re <laughs> yeah, re relax. Don't take things too serious, you know. Yeah. But also, um, do things that are very valuable. You mm -hmm. know, don't 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 waste <laughs> don't waste too much time. Because mm -hmm. if you waste too much time, you're gonna end up being 30, 40 years old. Yeah. And not knowing what you're doing in life, yeah, you know, and, and that's not it's good. You know, have some type of like aim or path, you know. But it's never too late to try. So don't, yeah. if you're older, don't take that as a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Now I'm gonna confuse you. Like hey, I'm go gonna bring in a yeah, yeah. Go I'm go gonna make it. a summary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a summary. I'm gonna get in them and talk to Ziga just because he said something very important. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure that I get the message. Get one number to know Ziga. He's gonna get out your love. I'm just telling them like we laugh and then, then but in, in, in between this fun, 
we are telling them something yeah, yeah. message is there yes it's not yeah. just discussion we are discussing something that can help them mm-hmm. i can agree more yeah yeah avocados are really good i say the, the <laughs> a lot one thing that you thank have you. a lot of things that are good about you thank you i'll say one of the more special <clears throat> things is that no matter what you do you're yeah. always trying to give back sure. to the people yeah. that like um like for instance when the when peace was signed mm-hmm. you know you sent that you sent that to the whole our whole team yeah oh my you know? goodness yeah. yeah and we're we're super happy about that i even brought that up in the swahili uh, oh, nice. i had a meeting on monday in swahili yeah. and i brought up the yeah. ethiopian i was like i just want yeah. to take the time yeah. to say you know this is great yeah. what's happening out yeah. there yeah. so uh because we were talking in tanzania i think tanzania and um and um the Ethiopia, Ethiopia are pretty close together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so, some distance, but yeah, yeah. very close. Uh-huh. Together. So yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that was known. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, no, Fakado is a really good role model, and I think like the world of thank you. Yeah, you thank you for that. Look, look at if you look at his LinkedIn, you will see it's really heavily influenced by the progression and hope, and ultimately the peace of uh, Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what a lot of countries need. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. Like. We did go into this problem, you know, if all countries have like their own problems, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they, now Ethiopia have been through one of the very difficult times now. Yeah. We are our mothers, poor families, people who have no idea about war and who have no idea about politics they are paying the maximum price. Like, right. Uh, my friend works in a hospital and he tells me like how many people from other sides of the conflict mm-hmm. are really suffering. Yeah. So we, me and you, people who are really have the kind of privilege mm-hmm. at least we could send them some positive energy some encouragement yeah at the very you know? least you know yeah. it's a saying in swahili that says like when yeah. two elephants fight yeah, exactly. it's the grass it's the grass is paying the price yes. yeah 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 so yeah that's true even there is a song also in ethiopia yeah uh, mm-hmm. there was the same connection that okay we let uh, the Mm-hmm. And we could do some, we say when elephants fight, the grass is paying the price. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, I, you know, so I, yeah. I, I understand the way of the situation, but you know, mm-hmm. like being strong, taking, mm-hmm. thinking, have, thinking strongly about yourself, mm-hmm. and actually um, investing in your own self, in skills, and understanding, mm-hmm. read. You know, it's gonna make the best out of you. You know, Thank if you. if not even after you, if you work hard enough, yeah. you can make a way for your family. Sure. Like Fakado's out here, mm-hmm. you know, getting uh, getting his understanding and education, but that's gonna help your family in the long yeah, run and exactly. people around. It helps a lot. Yeah. So. Thanks so much, Darrell. So it's like about twenty minutes after we start. Yeah, so yeah. I think uh, you know a lot of young people also they have problem in getting the internet. Uh-huh. When it's be long video. They, because they have to buy for the internet, oh, they yeah, cannot yeah. watch it. So oh, no, usually no. make it a kind of like... Okay, you cut it up. Yeah. Okay. So it depends on my audience. Sometimes I make it one hour. Uh-huh. This is for really people when I need them to go into the depth. Yeah. Sometimes I make it short. Yeah. So that they just get... It's not like TikTok. <laughs> I, I, TikTok. I, I've been working on my TikTok uh, dance. TikTok, yeah, yeah, you have a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't do the dance. Thank but... you, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, 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 we're gonna like maybe bring you to one of the Ethiopian meetings when they dance. I'm here for it. I'm yeah, here for it. Then, uh, you're gonna dance uh, like Skusta and all the different languages. We have very different kinds of songs. I look for myself. It. I'm very bad in songs. Yeah, but I really enjoy. It. So yeah. thanks so much for your time, for coming here, really for talking to the young people in Ethiopia, in Africa. This in English, so it can go. All of them. Yeah. So it's not Amharic. Mm-hmm. So this time I'm inclusive. I am not yeah. only speaking in Amharic. Yeah, yeah. And also I'm going to have Jenny also from Nigeria. Jenny is also yes, going to yes, be together. Yes. You know, Kilo maybe. Shelly. Tell her yeah, Kilo Shelly. We'll bring yeah. her also in one of these tables. And yeah. uh-huh. We're going to meet here and discuss again. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I wish you a nice day. Mm. And final message you have. Hey, Before we close, <laughs> Kata, check out my brother, uh, Brand, big, uh, big gumdrop outdoors, <laughs> phenomenal person. I'm gonna look uh, for. Is he on uh, Instagram or where do we guy? Um, uh, he's on he's on Instagram and he's on like YouTube. Oh, I'll find his YouTube. Yeah, yeah, great dude. Wow, um, great student here and nice. also. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank y'all so much. For the Thanks man. Thanks so much. For, for <laughs> Thank you, man. For Thank you. Yeah, yeah can ex-president. <laughs> the parliament. Yeah, yeah. Vote for him. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.